Hello, we're uh, getting into the second half of February now, and um, weather-wise, I'm not sure Mother Nature knows uh, what to do. About 10 days ago, I think our high was zero, and then a couple days later in the 50s, a few days ago, we were back down to 10, and now today it's 50 again, so we'll figure it out, but um, it does serve as a reminder that there are still winter conditions out there, and as always, we want you to be safe, so please, if uh, you're in the part of the country that still has winter, you know, be extra careful. Uh, we went through some of the tips before, but uh, just be extra careful. We want you safe. I wanted to uh, talk next, just a reminder about uh, the Best Pass um, transition. We started that a month or so ago. We've got quite a few of our trucks now um, with the Best Pass transponder in it. We still have some trucks to go, so if you're one of those that do not have that yet, please work with your driver manager. Uh, it's not urgent to get in right away, but um, if you see an opportunity to get through Omaha and the Omaha shop, uh, please keep that in mind and, and let's get that done. Uh, you will actually enjoy it. The, the coverage with uh, um, the tolls throughout the country with Best Pass, um, you, you will enjoy that. Uh, another reminder, I uh, want to follow up with uh, the pre-trip inspections of our trailers. We talked about that last month and a number of you did respond and we did get some more feedback. We appreciate that. Uh, we still need it every time. Uh, please do uh, a thorough pre-trip inspection, particularly of our drop trailers. Uh, we want to catch those uh, repairs and, and get them fixed and a um, number of reasons why that's important, but um, you know, don't leave it for the next guy. So we, need your, we still need your help with that. Another topic we haven't talked about for a while, but the weighing of your loads. A vast majority of you do that perfectly, do it every time like you need to. In the past 30 days, we did have a couple instances where the driver did not do that until they were a couple hundred miles down the road and then found a, a problem with being over axle. Obviously, it's uh, much easier to, uh, to fix a situation like that if we're still at the shipper or very close to the shipper and much less costly. So you know, please uh, adhere to that. Uh, but the shipper has a scale, even if it's not the type that uh, you prefer, let's use that scale. If they don't have a scale, try to find one just as soon as you leave the shipper. And if you need help with that, give Kelly a call and, and she'll help you locate one. The last topic I wanted to visit with you about today is this past week was the last day of our controller here at Hunt, Yale Murgatroyd. Uh, Yale had been with us for three years. Um, he's decided to make a career change and uh, get out of the trucking industry, still in the accounting field. Uh, we certainly wish uh, Yale um, all the best of uh, luck and success as he uh, goes into his new endeavor. And we appreciate the three years and everything that he did for Hunt, and particularly for the Hunt drivers um, and the owner-operators. Um, Yale worked one-on-one uh, -on -one with many of the owner-operators this past couple years and got to know you well and try to help you be successful in your businesses. And we, uh, uh, we appreciate that. And also want to assure you that uh, we'll, we'll continue that. Um, Cindy is uh, currently doing a company driver payroll and has for the past four months since Janet retired. Um, the last couple weeks, Yale has been working with her and training her on handling the owner-operator settlement pay as well. So Cindy will be doing both the company drivers and owner-operators going forward as far as the pay. Uh, we certainly realize that pay is extremely important and Cindy will maintain that high standard that we've set. If you have any questions about your pay, feel free to reach out to Cindy, but you can also reach out to our fleets department and talk to Kelly or Jess, and a lot of times they can get you the answers you need as well. So, uh, thank you. Um, have a good rest of your day, and as always, be safe out there.